Hey guys, so I picked up this cute little palette sign at the Makery for their one year anniversary sale. Um, they're a great little boutique in Tacoma. So I just wanted to do a little tutorial and show you how I did it. These are the instructions I received in the kit. They're pretty straightforward and really simple to follow. So you get a paintbrush, a sponge, you get some sandpaper, you also get the stencil as well as two things of paint. I went ahead and pre-painted my palette board ahead of time and let it dry before I did this tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand my board down. You can do this as little or as much as you want depending on the effect um, that you wanna receive. This helps the stencil to adhere and the paint and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna sand this down just a little bit. Wipe the dust away. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip my stencil over and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my credit card. You wanna make sure you actually take your time, give a lot of pressure. This is where we're gonna attach the stencil to the clear facing so we'll be able to attach it to our palette board when we're ready. So go slow, take your time. Otherwise you'll struggle like I did when you're trying to peel the backing off. So when we peel the backing off, you wanna make sure you start at the corner and go slow. Um, as you will be able to tell, I struggled a little bit with the lettering because I didn't take my time. So again, it's super important to make this project easy. You wanna make sure you apply a good amount of pressure and take your time with the credit card steps. That'll make this project that much easier for you. All right, after all that hassle, we're ready to flip our stencil over and attach it to our sign. Go ahead and line it up where you want on your palette. They're not equal size, so there's a little bit of wiggle room here. You'll go ahead and slap that down. And again, you're gonna bring out your credit card. Just like before, you wanna go slow and take your time. Um, this is adhering the stencil to your palette board as well as getting out any air bubbles. We want to get all the air bubbles out because they will allow the paint that we put on top to seep under and it'll not look very good with all your lettering. So go slow, work all those bubbles out and when you're ready and you feel like you've got all the air bubbles out and it's securely attached, we'll go ahead and peel away the facing and you'll be left with your stencil on top of your palette. All right, again, we're gonna go ahead and peel away starting at the corner. And this makes sure that we're peeling in an even motion and we don't accidentally rip up any part of our stencil in the middle, especially the thin, fragile pieces in the lettering. I'm gonna double check and make sure there's no bubbles. If you need to, take your credit card again and hit those spots. Now we're gonna go ahead and gently apply some paint. The directions are very clear. You wanna do at least two thin layers, which is better than one thick layer. And watch out for the edge of your stencil. I accidentally went on the outside of my stencil because I wasn't paying attention. Um, but two thin coats of paint is gonna be sufficient. And then now it's gonna be time to peel away our stencil. And this part, you do wanna go slow, but it's okay if you rip it because we're completely done with our project. So here we go, we're revealing the outline and we'll start to see the magic. This is a super simple project. In total, it took me maybe 20 minutes, um, you know, minus dealing with all the toddlers running around and being crazy. I love the Makery and how easy they make this. They have some great designs and palettes for you. Um, and the directions, like I said, were very easy to follow. So. 
If you're not a super crafty person, I definitely encourage you to take a chance and check out some of the awesome kits they have to offer. done and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I can't wait to put this in our new home.